dummy. Oh my goodness. What up, y'all? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. See, I was once young. I think we was all once young at one point in time, weren't we? It was 22, 23, right? But what I'm seeing out of the the young NBA players this year, or I would say this year, the, these days, is completely baffling. I don't know if it's a lack of d discipline or just lack of teaching and morals. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. But I do, but I ain't gonna say it on here. But the three knuckleheads I want to talk about. There's three knuckleheads I want to talk about. Zion Williamson. First round, first pick in the NBA draft in 2019 to the New Orleans Pelicans. John Morant, the second pick of that same year, going to Grizzlies. And uh, the other knucklehead, who wasn't a high draft pick, but he's had something that those two don't have, Jordan Poole. NBA champion, Jordan Poole. I forgot when Jordan Poole came in. But anyways, these three have been in the news a lot lately. Not for their good play on the court. Well, I don't know about Jordan Poole. I don't know about Zion either. But for what they have doing off the court. Now, I don't want to get too much. You know, I will get too much into what they do off the court. Because those are always reflective on what they do on the court. As we all know, we can start with John Morant. As we all know with John Morant, we know how much of a knucklehead he has been in the last couple of months. And Jordan Poole was selected 28th by Golden State that same year. Huh! Funny! So Jordan Poole, John Morant, and Zion Williamson all drafted uh, first round in 2019. <laughs> it's only right that all three of them are knuckleheads. But going back to John Morant now, got off key. Um... We all know how much a knucklehead he has been. He flashed a gap one time back in March. Then he decided to do it again last month. And now his team is saying uh, that the gun he was flashing on the IG Live was a toy gun. Yeah, I know. No matter what, no matter what, you've been warned not to play these games, these antics. This funny business by Adam Silver and the NBA. You gave them your word that you wouldn't do that. And then two months later, in the offseason, you decide to flash the gun. I think he's driving a Jeep Wrangler or whatever. It looked like a Jeep from where, I'm, where we're looking. On IG Live, flashed the gun with a vehicle full of people. So if it is fake, that's even more stupider at this point. Why do you need to flash a gun regardless? Anyways, why? Fake or not fake? I just don't get it with this knucklehead. So, and I said this before, I'm going to say it again. If the NBA or Adam Silver, after the finals is over, decides to lay the hammer down on him, the gravel, and give him a full year suspension, I would not care and I actually would clap and say, oh, oh well. That's what you get for being completely a nincompoop, an idiot, a dumbass, you stupid. And people continue to say, yeah, second amendment, it's second amendment. Shut up with that second amendment crap. That doesn't apply here. It does not apply. The NBA has a cause. They have their rules. They don't want you flashing a gun on IG in public, regardless of the Second Amendment. They don't want you to do that at all. Those are the rules. So you knuckleheads that don't get it, I, I, can't, I can't help you at this point. If you don't get it, then you're just as much of a knucklehead as he is. Man just lost millions because of this suspension early in the season. And he's probably due to lose more if he gets suspended for an entire season, which I hope he think, I hope he gets. Because he needs to understand that nobody's playing around with him anymore. Alright, we know enough about John Moret. 
Let's go to the first pick in the NBA draft with him. So apparently, this is the reason why. <laughs> shout out Ticket TV for saying this. This is the reason why his legs don't work no more. Zion Williamson on the court, still worried about basketball. He's worried about IG. I can't even call them IG models. He's worried about strippers and corn stars. I said corn stars for a reason. So apparently he's, he has a kid on the way, a daughter on the way, and he has had it with a, with a stripper that's 29 years old. He's 22. The stripper already has a kid, a six-year-old. See, in my real pillness, and with my real pill knowledge, and even just this is just should be knowledge or something that all men should do. It is not a good look, and nor should any single man of any age decide to take on a woman that has a kid. I just avoided this my own self a couple months ago. There, just me. I'm gonna say this is just me. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, I am not taking on as a single man. I am not taking on anybody else's offspring. Don't care how good the girl, uh, the woman looks. No, I'm not doing it. It's not my thing. And then to get her pregnant too. You sign 18 years, Zion. 18 years, Zion. But people say that's this business. Fine, that's cool and all. But what's up with the corn star coming after him now? The corn star is all jealous, all in her feelings. If you guys haven't known the story already. All in her feelings because Zion got another woman pregnant. Toting his ass all over Twitter. Exposing him and all kinds of other crap. See, this is the stuff that these kids don't understand. Now that's another distraction. It's just the distractions. And I don't think these dudes are taught in a way to avoid all this stuff. Because nobody thinks it's, I guess, won't be a problem. For some weird reason, I, f I forget that John Moran and Zion are both from South Carolina. I guess from small cities from South Carolina. And that's probably another reason why they, these fools are going crazy. Especially Zion. He's not used to women like this. And the woman that the corn star and the stripper. Just, this is just me. Uh, I would avoid them with the, I would have avoided them with the best of my abilities. They're just not my type. But anyways, uh, they're pretty much, I would say, fun girls. And when you get a fun girl pregnant, especially when you're an NBA player, that's money coming out of your pocket. I, I, this this does not look like relationship. She does not let <laughs> none of these two look like relationship material. They're just going to dry his ass out the wall. And I feel that that's just extra time that's taken away from his basketball career dealing with that stressful time he may not think about it now but as the years go by uh dealing with the stripper who knows she can turn heel on him you never know this is how some of these women work these days so zion i don't know <laughs> i don't know how new orleans feel about this i know this is off the court stuff but this becomes a distraction to the point it's affecting his game which it seems like it already is already it's like he's put more effort into stuff off the court than on the court. I just don't think these dudes understand the meaning of hard work and dedication to your craft. That's why people honor Kobe so much and Jordan, but Kobe so much. Yeah, yeah Kobe had a whole family, but he knew how to deal with the family and separate the two and focus on what he needed to get done. The dedication and hard work. These dudes, they get to the league and they think that's it. As many people say they more about building a brand than actually uh, dedicating themselves to the game. And that's another reason why another person I want to bring it. That's why I have so many people like Giannis. Yes, Giannis has a family though. But he keeps the drama. He also found a good woman apparently as well. But... You know how much it takes to be good in the NBA. Some of these dudes just don't understand that. They get to the NBA, they think it's fun times. And then we got Jordan Poole. It was another story that came out allegedly that this football, Ice Spice, 
a vehicle. I think it was like a Maybach or something like that. Spending clothes on Ice Spice. Put more effort into that than on the court. And as we can see from three of these players, we can see it from three of these players how their off the court antics have affected the game. Zion can't get back on the court. John Morant, he can't focus. He's not focused. And Jordan Poole, apparently, and he ain't focused either. Because they worry about stuff they shouldn't be worried about. Now, I'm starting to realize Jordan, maybe uh, Draymond Green, was maybe right for knocking him out. It's not right, but shoot, maybe he knocked him out to get his head in the game. Spending $500 on a Dominican female from Harlem. I spend $10. What's I spend on a woman? It's $10. I don't spend that. I don't believe in spending that much on a woman. Now, if it progresses and becomes a marriage or something like that, then yeah, but not. <sighs> these dudes, man. These dudes need some training. They need some mentors or something. And this doesn't just go all for NBA players or athletes. This is just going for dudes, especially African American, young, uh, young African American men. They need some guidance. They don't have no guidance at all. And sadly enough, some just don't have any father figures in their life. I think Zion did, but some of us seen how when he was drafted, he gave thanks to his mom instead of his stepfather, who was the one that helped him get to this level. Uh, John Moret, he does have a dad, but his dad is more interested in being a celebrity. Jordan Poole, from what I heard, I think he does have a dad in his life, but... It's only so much you can do. Sometimes also as well, some dudes will just have to make a decision on themselves. It's only so much your parents can do. They can't do everything for you. They just have to make better decisions on their own. But apparently these three dudes cannot make decisions on their own. And therefore, that's why in position, well, John Moran is probably more in trouble career wise than the other two but I can see where Zion's career can go downhill if he ain't focused on that really ready for what he needs to do. I think the best way for some some athletes to do is not get married, just not deal with women at all. Especially these days. Derek Jeter had it right. Shoot, wait till you get done playing. It seemed like KD got it right because you don't hear anything about him. Wait till you get done playing and deal with all that. Especially in the, especially when these players get, for example, Kevin Garnett. They get out the league. They ain't never getting divorced. Because now they there all the time. The wife don't want them there because the wife want to be whatever she want to be. But anyways, I know for appealing this already. But these three knuckleheads, man. You don't want to see him down. That's not celebrating. You just want to see him do better. Be better than the previous generations. Not go backwards. It's what I told you, nigga. This ain't it, Chief. That's what I would have told you. Mama, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy.